We're going to see um, the game called Detective Agency. It's a, it's a new game, and it has four maps, and each map is double-sided. And so the first place they go to is Osmo Town. And what the object of the game is, is to have them locate on the map whatever they're being told to locate. So they have an iPad in front of them, and then the iPad, you, uh, you know, touch the game. I have, um, because Osmo is uh, school-friendly, I have put their names into the system so that when they play the game, they can return to their account and still play the game where they left off so we can actually see a progression instead of them doing the same thing over and over. So it teaches them uh, you know, to be detail-orientated, to look for things like that. Um, it also teaches them about the actual region that they're at. So a uh, hometown one is more just to getting used to, but they go to Rio de Janeiro, uh, Brazil, they go to Cairo, Egypt, um, there's um, Madrid, Spain, places like that. There's eight different places. One's a world map, uh, so it's a world map, and the other one is a hometown, but then the six other maps are places around the world, Paris, France, that kind of thing. So they learn about the Eiffel Tower, they learn about the um, Christ the Redeemer statue in Brazil, they learn about, um, you know, uh, the the uh, Sphinx and the pyramids in Egypt. So they'll, like, it'll pop up and it'll show me actual photograph too of that item as well. So they, they learn those kind of things. The Osmo packaging, for lack of a better term, yeah. was not very friendly to our new, our new world. So ex right. explain how you had to take Osmo and the learning materials that came with it and modify it so it could be used in our current environment. They come in a, a nice little, uh, like a suitcase kind of sleeve. And it's a great storage little sleeve, but they're cardboard. <laughs> And I thought, oh my goodness, these are not going to last. Even, even without COVID, they wouldn't last because they're cardboard, you know. Now they make them in plastic. But anyway, so I thought, how am I going to do these? So I took them out and I, like I said, I found uh, the, uh, that the sheet protectors fit perfectly over them. And I was able to slide them on and, and then they met and they overlapped just a little bit. And I put tape on the ends of it and they're clear. So I had the, uh, the, uh, the iPad has no problem picking up on it. So I've had no issues with that. I can take a wet, uh, you know, spray my cloth and wipe them down real quick and everything, and, and they're good to go for the next class. You're also instrumental in the elementary school battle of the books here in VVSD. How did you have to make adjustments to that program to make sure it was still available to students this year? We recorded the books for the kids. So we've got a new, like a website up. All the books have our, um, each one of us recorded one of the books so that when the kids are reading it, they have that support of the audio with it too. Um, we're going to do... Uh, a different night for it too. We're going to have it where instead of doing the regular battle like we've done in the past, we're going to do a um, trivia night instead. A little less pressure on the kids and stuff. Uh, we wrote a grant um, and, and got money for books. So each of the kids got three books too to keep then. That's a little bit different as well. So a lot of things have changed drastically, but you know, we have to be that way. We have to be flexible and, and, and inventive that way. And, and uh, my cohort, uh, the 12 of us, they're a great group of people to work with and they're very creative and inventive and we all put our heads together we think of successes definitely.